I know I'm really late to this, but I've forgotten to do it the last two days. Yes, Mike Zimmer got fired Monday morning, and I'm filming this Wednesday afternoon, but I wanted to finally get to it. I'm so glad Mike Zimmer's finally fired. We finally don't have a coach that will allow an entire game's worth of points in the last two minutes of the second and fourth quarters. Gosh. Um, I remember after the Steelers game, week, th uh, not week 13. Let's see, we were, I think we were like five and seven. So maybe it actually was week 13. That just came out of my mouth for some reason. So we're five and seven. They're like six and, they're like seven and six and one. There are a couple games ahead of us. Um, after that game, since we had a, a, an 11 day week from Thursday Night Football to Monday Night Football, I was thinking, okay, this is the time to fire him. And nope, he stays as our head coach, which was annoying. Because I think you can, in 11 days, you can at least find an interim. Even if it's just letting Andre Patterson step up as the head coach. Definitely not Clint Kubiak, because all he's going to do is just score less points than we already were, but. Yeah, we should have, we should have, uh, we really should have fired him at any point in the season where we had enough time to find at least an interim head coach, which would have been week, th between week 13 and 14, between the Steelers and Bears game, but at least we did it now, and I saw Eric Bieniemy is now the front runner for possible Vikings head coaches for next year, and I'm not sure what, I think Eric Bieniemy is the Chiefs offensive coordinator, but he could be he could be defense. I'm not really sure. But honestly, I would having an offensive minded guy. I would not mind. I would not mind that at all. I I just want a guy who who knows what's happening on the offense because Mike Zimmer obviously doesn't. All he does is run the ball, run the ball, run the ball some more, and then his defense also hasn't been good for years. So that's why I was kind of hoping we could get another defensive minded head coach. But we've had a defensive minded head coach the last three years. So. Whatever. I'm, I'd be happy to have Eric Bieniemy as the head coach. I would like John Harbaugh though, because he was the head coach of the 49ers in the early 2010s, maybe or maybe late 20, 2000s. Not sure though. And he was a good coach. He led the 49ers to two straight NFC Championship games in 2011 and 20, 2012 and 2013. And they also had one of the best defenses those two years. I know they had Patrick Willis and we have Eric Kendricks, basically the same thing. But yeah, yeah, I I like to have, I would not mind having Jim Harbaugh here. Really, any of the coaches that are like available for us to sign, I'd be fine with. Doug Peterson, even like he had he had the best rushing defense. Um, when he was when he was like the basically the coach of the year type coach in twenty seventeen, and they had the best offense in the league. So yeah, don't forget to uh, that'll be the end. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, turn on the notification bell, comment what videos you'd like to see, and as always, never forget the Packers will always suck at school Vikings.